want to, yeah. I know I can't stop it. Yeah. She my little treat. Mm. Looking so delicious, so she shopping, she a freak, and yeah, she keep it low key. Welcome back. My name is Kelly. For those that are new, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to record some professional, professional vocals inside of Adobe Audition 2022. I'm gonna give you guys a live demonstration. Basically, we're gonna start start from scratch. I'm gonna set up my microphone, record some vocals, record some awesome vocals, and I'm gonna show you guys the whole entire work process and how I like to make it sound good. So, if that sounds like something you're into, make sure you stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. So now that we have Adobe Audition open, we wanna set up our inputs, our microphone to record with. Now before we do that, if your layout looks any different than mine, you can go to window and go to workspace and go to classic. Classic's my favorite layout and it makes it very simple and easy to record with. Also, if you take this line right here and pull it down, it'll open up your effect rack a little bit more so you can see your effects. All right, so for track number one, that's gonna be our beat. So I like to go up here and name track number one, beat. No, that's not beat, that's beat, beat. And track number two, we're gonna use for our vocals. So we'll go vocals. All right, so next we're gonna wanna set up our input, which is our microphone to record with. So we're gonna wanna go to stereo input. We're gonna wanna record our vocals in mono. And this, this microphone is plugged into my Universal Audio Twin. As you guys can see, it says Universal Audio Twin, and this is plugged into mic number two, input number two of the interface. So I'm gonna click Universal Audio Twin USB 2. And then all you gotta do is click the R, and as you guys can see, the levels will start to move. So we're equipped to start recording. But first, we wanna drag a beat in so we have a beat to record with. One thing I wanna mention before I continue for some of you guys don't get confused, you'll notice it says system default line right here. Now in my audio hardware, I have this, my device class set at MME right now. Now when I record my vocals and when I start recording here in a moment, I'm gonna set this at ISO, A-S-I-O, I-C-O, ISO, however you pronounce it. Now the only reason I have it set at MME right now is because my screen recorder won't record audio properly when it's set at ICO, but uh, when I set it at MME, it works fine. But when I record my vocals, my device class is at ICO. My device, my interface is my universal audio USB. I usually try to keep my buffer size low, but when you use a bunch of effects, you wanna have a higher buffer size. So when you record without your effects, you can keep a lower buffer size, like 128, 256. But when you start adding effects, you're gonna wanna bring your buffer size up. And my sample rate is at 44,100. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, just mention that quick. I don't know why my screen recorder doesn't work in uh, ICO. All right, so next we're gonna wanna drag our beat in to record with. All you gotta do is just drag it in. All right, so we're almost ready to record. The last thing we gotta do is gain stage, which means we gotta turn our beat down to about, let's say minus 10. Now this will allow room for the vocals, the effects being applied to the vocals and the mastering after we're done mixing. Now that we turn our beat down to minus 10, we're gonna wanna turn our vocals down as well. Now I usually base my vocals off of my beat. So if your vocals sound too loud, turn the vocals down. If the vocals sound too quiet, turn the vocals up. But since we turn the beat down, we're gonna wanna turn our vocals down as well. So we'll start at minus 15. Now before we record, when I listen back to my vocals, I don't like to listen back to them raw with no effects. It doesn't really sound that great. So what we're gonna do is add a vocal preset to the session. So when we listen back to our vocals, it sounds like a proper song. It sounds good and how it should be. So I'm gonna add our Tory Lanez vocal preset to the session. I have tons of different presets on the website. It's kelly.com. I'll leave links down below. We have stock Adobe presets, over 20 different stock Adobe presets. And we have over 20 different way presets. And we also have studio rack presets now available for all DAWs. Now our vocals will sound mint when we listen back to them. All right, before we start recording, I'm gonna show you guys a couple cool little tricks you can do to record. Now, before you start recording, hit Shift X. Now what that's telling Adobe is to bring you back to the beginning of your recording once you finish recording it. All right, so now we wanna record some vocals. Now we could go down to the record button and hit the record button, but an easier way to do it is hit Shift Space. And then to stop it, all you gotta do is hit Space. So Shift, Space. 
Then to stop it, space. And say we don't like it, control Z. Boom. And we're back at the beginning, like I mentioned before, because we hit shift X when we started the session. So let's go ahead and record some vocals. All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bars. Yeah. Baby, you got it popping. Girl, you drive me crazy. Oh, I know this shit toxic. Girl, you so bad. Don't you look so excited? Even when I want to, I know I can't stop it. Yeah. So now I'm just going to copy and paste this so it just repeats and that will be the chorus. So all we got to do is, well, first of all, we want to trim out the part that we want. So I'm going to go up here to the razor and cut out the beginning. And now we can right click to copy it, go to copy, or we can click it and hit control C, whatever works. And then we're just gonna wanna paste this right here. Now you can right click, hit paste, or you can hit control V. And now you just wanna listen and line it up. And another way to do this, which is probably an easier way, we can just do a quick little recording right here, and then we can line it up with the recording. Baby, you got it popping. Girl, you drive me crazy on, know the shit tossing. And now we can line up the other part with that. This makes it easier. Then we're going to mute that. And let's take a listen. Even when I want to, I know I can't stop it. Yeah. Baby, you got it popping. Girl, you drive me crazy. Oh, I know this shit toxic. Girl, you so bad. Don't you look so excited? Even when I want to, I know I can't stop it. Yeah. Sweet. Now, I'm just going to turn these vocals down a little bit because they're a little bit loud. So we're at minus 18 right now. All right, so now we want to add a verse to this. So we can change this to like hook. Verse. Sweet. And then again, you want to select your microphone, go to mono, select your mic click the R to record and then you're good to record but before we start recording we got to lace it with our effects first so we're going to add the Tory Lanez vocal preset once again and now we should be good to start recording before I get into this verse I feel like the verse part of the B is just a little bit too long for what I want so what we're going to do here is cut this beat cut the verse part of the beat in half and then we're going to continue recording the verse so if you guys want to cut your beat up, you, you feel free to do that as well. So all you got to do is go to this razor up top here and then find the part of the beat that you want to cut. If you do want to cut your beat, we're going to cut it right about there halfway, bring a track up that has no effects on it. So what we're going to do here is cut it right before the bridge. Drag it down here. And you should be able to line it up with the other part of the beat. Notice how it's all lined up right there. So if we zoom in and get it perfect. Should be able to just slide this in there now make sure you guys click the magnet when you're moving your tracks around just for the tracks line up nicely so we're gonna delete this part go back up to our cursor and then drag this up and it should work perfect perfect sweet we're good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and drop a verse to this little hook and try to make it like an actual song type thing. Look 
was so delicious, so she shot, but she a freak, and she keep it low key. Oh. All right, so now we're gonna want to punch in the next part of our verse. So right quick, I'm gonna go ahead and add another track here for I can punch in. Mono, mic two, click the R, add our effects, Tory Lane, stock. I'm gonna type in verse here for I know this is part of my verse. Turn the volume down so I don't get, don't go deaf here. And now we should be good. Fire. All right, so now we're gonna go back up to the first verse up here and punch in again. Shift space again to record. Now we're gonna go back down to the other verse and we're gonna punch in a little bridge and then the chorus comes back in and then we got our first verse done. Alright, that'll work. I spent way too long trying to get a decent bridge, but you know, as long as you guys know how to record your vocals, my vocals don't really matter. So, alright, so now we're gonna add a couple ad libs to this, and that should be it, and we should be good to go. I just gotta copy and paste my chorus. Actually, we'll copy and paste the chorus now. So, we're gonna highlight the two clips. Then we're gonna hit Control G, and that will group them together. And then we can right click, hit copy, or again, Control C, that will copy our clips. Then we can go over here, and then we can paste our clips, or Control V, either or. And then we just gotta listen back to make sure it's on point. Probably gotta move it around a little bit. All right, so now we have the chorus copied and paste, pasted. So I just wanna add some ad-libs in here because there's too many spaces. All right, so that is pretty much the process on how I like to record my vocals. So now we're just gonna go ahead and listen back to what we did, and yeah. Here we go. Bars. Yeah. Baby, you got it popping. Girl, you drive me crazy. I know this shit toxic. Girl, you so bad. Don't you look so excited? You don't know want to. I know I can't stop it. Yeah. Baby, you got it popping. Girl, you drive me crazy. I know this shit toxic. Girl, you so bad. Don't you look so excited? You don't know want to. I know I can't stop it. Yeah. She want a little treat. Mmm. Look so delicious. So she shy, but she a freak. Yeah, she keep it low key. Adobe Audition 2022, I love it. They have some amazing stock effects and that's why I still rock with Adobe Audition because of their effects. If it wasn't for their effects, I'd probably be with a different program. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. I'm trying to drop every single week. I'm trying to drop, not 100% not sure, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to drop a new video every week. But that is it for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon with another one. Peace. I know this shit toxic, girl, you so bad, don't you look so excited? You don't wanna want to, I know I can't stop it. Yeah.